Today, you will be applying the shading techniques that you've learned on this worksheet into your uh, letters. Here I have the cross hatching. Uh, this is going to be the sfumato technique where I'm using the uh, ebony pencil. And what you're trying to do with this is get that gradual transition, okay? So I can see it goes from very dark to a medium um, gray. There's just a line right here. And with chiaroscuro, that literally means uh, faded into smoke. And so you're trying to, uh, I'm gonna zoom up. You're trying to avoid these lines, okay? Um, in your artwork. Okay, so I'm kind of circling around, but but trying to get rid of those and, and having things kind of gradually transition out, even into a perfectly uh, clear uh, white. So I'm, see those kind of scribbly, kind of scumbling lines? Um, I really want to try and work those out by just reworking that area with more and more layers and just gradually lightening up the pressure, okay? Um, so after doing that, there will still be some degree of a circling that you can see. And I can even go back and make some very darks on this end. Um, but at one point, you'll want to take these Kleenexes, okay, and uh, wrap it around the tip of your finger like that. And then you can use that to just rub over it. And as you can see, I am able to um, make those uh, lines uh, disappear. Um, I actually did it the backwards way. It's easier, or a little bit more effective if you go from lighter to darker. Otherwise, sometimes you can end up pulling those very dark darks into uh, light areas. So I'm gonna go from light to uh, dark. But at some point, you're gonna find um, there's some corners where you don't wanna be rubbing with this because it'll smear it outside your crisp edges. And that's where this shading stump comes in really helpful. To, uh, it does the same thing, but um, you definitely wouldn't want to use this over that whole letter. Um, that would take a long time, okay? You want to use uh, the tissue for the big spaces and then go back with this shading stump for the small spaces. Have fun.